Hello again, I am Eric Grubaugh, your NetSuite Technical Advisor, and I am back today to continue our discussion on effectively building a NetSuite development team. You will recall that I was once tasked with doubling the size of a NetSuite development team, and we have previously laid out the strict hiring process that we adopted, as well as the uh, structured training program that we introduced in order to reduce the turnover and high cost of onboarding new developers. Today, we are going to discuss the final phase of our NetSuite team building story, which was version control practices. As I mentioned previously, we had an extremely unsophisticated and disorganized project management approach um, and no deployment strategy to speak of. We could not associate code changes back to the project task. We were not effectively tracking our code changes in the first place. And we were not easily able to roll back changes in the event that something went wrong during or after deployment, which was happening way too frequently. Um, in order to be successful, our developers needed a way to maintain an organized history of the code in order to quickly restore broken functionality, uh, track down errors, and fix them. At the time, our developers were basically tracking history by keeping multiple copies of the files they were working on. And cause, this was causing an extraordinary amount of confusion uh, about which one is actually the working version. Uh, because here's a hint, it's not always the most recent version that is the working version. Um, the copies were only being saved on the developer's local hard drive. So if the hard drive died or they lost their laptop or left it at home, we lost that developer's work. Um, they were dead in the water. And this introduced some extremely high risk in our projects. Um, if multiple developers were working on the same files, they were often stepping on each other, overriding each other's work, and experiencing change conflicts, which was causing us an enormous amount of lost time and thus money. So we needed a way to effectively track the history of our source code, allow developers to collaborate without stepping on each other, and add offsite storage to our code for backup purposes. So our solution was to research and implement a consistent version control practice. There are many options for version control systems, and we researched a few of them, deciding that Git was the best choice for us. We implemented a widely accepted process known as Gitflow. There are a few links down in the video description um, if you are curious about the specifics, but what I wanna focus on are the outcomes that we saw from implementing this consistent version control practice. So first and foremost, the primary advantage of source control is its highly effective history tracking of changes to source code. This history allowed our developers to more quickly revert broken code, identify where the problem occurred in the first place, and correct the problem. Because the Git repositories are hosted offsite by a third party, we drastically reduced the risk of losing any project work because we had, now we had multiple copies of all of our code um, the architecture of Git repositories ensured that every single developer working on the project has their own copy of the repository in addition to the offsite hosted one. That means that even if the uh, offsite repository is offline for whatever reason, uh, developers can still commit their work to their own and others' copies. So we have uh, multiple redundancy built in that way. Um, by adopting the Gitflow branching scheme, 
our developers were able to much more efficiently address the collaboration issues. Uh, branches in source control basically allowed developers to isolate their changes, their own work, from any other active development or from the live uh, working version of the code. Um, before we started this practice, I was already a strong believer in source control, but the results that we saw showed me just how crucial a consistent source control practice is for every development team, no matter the size. Um, so if your team currently doesn't use source control or maybe isn't using it effectively, I strongly recommend that you and your technical leads start researching what it will take to get things up and running efficiently and effectively. Otherwise, you are opening your team and your company up to a significant amount of risk and productivity loss. Okay, I hope this has given you some ideas for uh, consideration and research as you scale up your NetSuite development team. I'll see you soon.